Hey guys, here we are. 2022 Honda 250RX. Uh, basically a stock bike. It's got a graphics kit on it. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's got, I think, 15 hours on it. So here's how you put this kit on. Um, unfortunately, the bar pad's got to go. Um, you can't fit the kit on here with the bar pad. There is a way to do it, but I haven't really messed with it. KTM sells a bar pad that's tiny that sits right on the top in between it. But the way the bar clamps sit, this doesn't fit on there. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to start off with putting the clamps on. You're going to grab your four millimeter wrench, your clamps, and a bushing. For the one and an eighth bars, you need one of these bushings. If you have seven eighths bars, you're going to need two bushings. So I start by taking the clamp, put the bushing on the front side of the clamp, and then you're going to put it right here as close as you can to that handlebar mount, okay? Right on the side there. So now the one thing that I forgot to tell you was you should probably take this off first. That's an eight millimeter wrench. Easy. Eight. I'm going to ratchet. You can do it without taking that off. It just makes it easier if it's not in the way though. So, back to the install here. You've got your bar clamp, you've got your bushing. They go up front here, they go right next to the uh, bar clamps. Now, on most bikes, if you don't have handlebar extensions like risers, the bottom of this clamp may interfere with the top of your fork tube. So what I usually do is I will lower those maybe an eighth of an inch. That's all you need, just a tiny little bit in order to get this to fit inside of there. So we'll do that first. Here's the 10 millimeter wrench. Um, if you go on the side, there's two bolts here, two bolts there. Just have to loosen it a little bit. You don't have to go crazy, just so the bolt is loose. And those will slide right down. You can do one side at a time. It's very important to make sure that both sides are slid down an equal amount so you don't have more shock tension on one side or the other when you put them down. Loose. at it you grab the tube you should be able to spin it just a little bit and pull down and that tube will go down just enough to where that clamp will now fit underneath it perfectly if you have handlebar risers you don't have to do this you can skip this step and again when you're doing it make sure both sides are done equally This is probably the hardest part of the whole installation. So I'm gonna take this one and move that down. Make sure it's equal to that other side. All right, tighten it up. All right. Okay. 
Next, we have the bar mount. I'm gonna put the first one on here. On the other side. Again, bushing, bar mount, bushing. We've got the back side, and we've got a screw. So you just mount that right on there. Like this. Put it in a couple threads, just so enough so it's it's holding it together. Then put the other screw in. Very important while you're doing this is to leave everything loose. Everything needs to stay loose until you have the entire thing set up on here, just to allow it to fit. If you tighten everything up right away, it won't fit right. You have to get it all on there. Leave these loose so that you move up and down and side to side. That way everything will fit nice. Once you get it all nice and where you want it, you can tighten it up, try it out, then pull it back in, pull each screw out, put Loctite on them. They won't rattle loose. Um, just like I said, Loctite every screw once you're done. Second one, bushing, mount, right on the front there, hold it down so it's sitting. Couple threads. Grab the last bolt. Couple threads. See, it moves left and right, moves up and down. That way, everything will just fit on there, and then you can tighten it, tighten it up snug. So, you've got your light bar. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brackets off of the side of the light bar. It gets sent out to you with the brackets on there just so you can see the way they're supposed to go. But you're going to have to pull them off so we can mount them because the brackets have to get mounted on there first. These little L brackets. Put that one there. Don't lose the screws. If you wind up taking these little screws out and mixing them up with the screws that go on the actual handlebar brackets, the ones that go in the light bar are shorter. So you want the longer ones to go in the bracket, the short ones to go in the light bar. If you put the longer ones in the light bar, they might not go in all the way. The light bar, the holes are only so deep. So I don't think they'll take the longer screws. So we're gonna take that off, pull the screws out, don't lose them. And now you're gonna grab, there's a uh, 10 millimeter bolt with a lock, nylon lock nut. And that's what we're going to use to mount the L brackets. So on the L brackets, there's the little hole and then there's a big hole. The big hole goes down onto those brackets. So it's also very important that the bolt goes down through. If you put it up, it will hit the light bar. So it's got to go down through. Put it on like that. You can twist that up. You can put that on finger tight. And butter fingers. Put that on finger tight. Do the other side. Down through the big hole again. Set that up now because we can get to it. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take your 12 meter wrench, 12 mil, uh, 10 millimeter wrenches. I'm just going to snug them so they're just you can still, so you can still move everything. So put that on there. So want it just loose enough to where everything still moves. See, and it moves all around. So when we put the light bar on, everything will sit nice and nice and tight, and we'll be able to tighten it all down. So tighten it till it's snug, and then loosen it just a little bit, just so everything moves around. Okay. So 
Next, we have the light bar. So the light bar sits on here inside these clamps. So the clamps push out, the light bar sits right here in between everything, just like that. Okay. So it doesn't matter what side this comes off of. You can come off that side and come off this side. I usually put it off on the right side and then it can loop back in through. So push that out of your way. Grab the small screws. And let's bolt the light bar on them. Leaving it, leaving it loose so it can flop around. It's all, it's all loose. I'm going to make sure these are pulled all the way in. And now we're going to set this kind of how you want it. And you start out by tightening the light bar up and then you tighten all the brackets around it. So we're going to put a little bit more into that. A little bit more into this. Do not over tighten these bolts that go into the white bar. These are made out of cast aluminum. They don't rust, but you can't tighten them like they were steel threads because they will strip out. That's why once we're done, figure out where you want to take it for a ride, pull those out, put Loctite on them, tighten them back down. You won't ever have to, have to worry about them coming out. So you want that kind of pointed down like that. straight and then tighten the handlebar brackets. I like to tighten the bottom one first and the top one. You don't have to go nuts. You can tighten them. It's on a rubber bushing. Don't tighten them too tight. If you go down, if you hit a tree, if something whacks it, you want it to move. You don't want it to be stiff. If it's stiff, it'll break. So tighten that bottom one up first and then snug the top one. You don't have to go crazy. Again, you know, if something hits it, you want it to move. You want to be able to, if you're going through the wood, you want to be able to move it down and adjust it to where, you, to where it has to go. So now that you've got that, you got that kind of set where we want it, we can tighten the little bolts, the little bracket bolts here. You don't have to over tighten these ones. These are these are lock nuts. They're not going to go anywhere. Just All right. So that's mounted. So next we have the harness. Um, the harness is very easy to set up. Um, what we're going to start off by is mounting the on off switch on the handlebars you can mount it wherever you want there's plenty of room plenty of room on this harness everything sits right back inside of here there's plenty of room you can mount it on the left side you can mount it on the right side i like to mount it on the left side here um so there's uh two phillips head screws on the back you have to pull one of them out completely and then the top one you can just loosen up and then this just very easily sits on there, swivel it over, put it down, screw back in. All right. Kind of get that where you want it. Same as everything else, don't over tighten it. You want to be able to move it. You know, when you're riding it, you might want to adjust it. If you hit a tree, you want it to spin. If it's too tight, it'll break when you hit something. So leave them nice and loose. So, now here is your harness. There's two pieces to this harness. There's the main section that has a switch on it. And then there's the tail section. This is specific to your Honda bike. This is what plugs directly in to the wiring. It's very easy to do. You don't have to take anything apart. I already have the cap off of it. 
but there is a red cap, okay? And that cap is inside on the left-hand fairing just below the frame. There is a red port, and it's kind of clipped on. So you got to pull it out. It's inside here, right on the left. And this cap is going to be sitting right on there. It's a blocker cap. This is your diagnostic port. You put your finger in there and you pull the little pin and that cap pops off. That is what we're, this is what we're gonna plug your light into. This tail section has the fuse on it. So you're gonna take the square, the square port and we're gonna put it right here. You go right into the center of the frame here, right above, there's a little cooling tube for the radiators, it goes across. You're gonna put this right in, right over that. You're just gonna feed it right down in there, okay? And feed it right in there. So it's sitting right there, and you go on the back side, and you look up in there, and you just, it should be sitting right there. Here, here's that part right there. Here's that, here's that connector. You take the red connector, and you take the black connector, and plug them in. Just like that. And then go back in there, take some of the zip ties that it comes with, and just secure it. You can secure it to, you know, the side of the frame. There's some, uh, there's some wiring down there. There's a piece of aluminum. Just uh, secure it on there once you're, once you once you figure out where you want to put it. And then where it comes out here, same thing. Secure it right to the side. There's a piece of loom that comes out. Secure it right to that loom. Zip tie right there. I'll tighten it up after. Now you've got the rest of the harness here with the switch. You're just gonna simply run that. There's there's your uh, your kill switch, and that also has like a uh, like a like a, a limiter for for a jump start there. You just run that in the same direction as that, run it underneath in between the forks here, and then just clip that weather pack connector right back to where it goes. Boom. Now you've got your headlight right here. You can run this in between and run it right back down, just like that. You can run it under the bars, whatever you want to do. It's just got to go in here behind this number plate. Clip that in, just like so. See, everything's right here. Take a zip tie, zip tie everything together so it's not flopping around. You can zip tie that harness right here. Uh, that's it. Number plate back on. Goes on here, goes behind. Well done. And they're set up. The light will not work unless the bike is running. So you don't have to worry about it draining your battery. As soon as you shut it off, it shuts off. Thanks for watching. Check out our website, www.motowaxlighting.com. We have other kits. Um, we have other instructional videos. Uh, if you need any help, reach out to us. Email me, motowaxlighting at gmail.com. I'll help out as best I can. If you have any broken parts, if you, you know, six months down the road, you rip a wire out, shoot me an email. I'll send you another one. Um, I back my product. If you break it, I ride just like everybody else. Stuff happens. Let me know if you need something. I'll send it out to you. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good night.